Hi, uh, my name is Eva Barrett. I am a visual artist and printmaker from uh, Tipperary in Ireland. I uh, completed an MA in multidisciplinary printmaking um, at the University of the West of England in 2015. Um, and a couple of years later, I moved back to Ireland and started up a traveling uh, print studio called Print Van Gogh. Uh, where we are recording this video from today. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you so much to Angela Butler for inviting me to participate in the CFPR um, Book and Print Festival. I am delighted to get this opportunity to share a bit about my practice um, and the work that I've been doing with um, Print Van Gogh over the last couple of years. Um, so I'm just going to share um, some slides and some images with you now of um, the van um, and some of the different events that we have been doing with the, with Print Van Gogh. So um, Print Van Gogh is, is what it says on the tin. Um, it is a van um, that we have installed a fully functioning print studio into the back of it. Uh, so we have uh, facilities for a vast array of printmaking techniques. Uh, we haven't quite pushed the boat out to stone lithography yet, um, but we um, have stencil screen printing, we have monoprinting, intaglio, relief print, um, we can do rubber stamps, uh, yeah, you name it, uh, we have it. Um, so. So the idea with um, Print Van Gogh and this traveling print studio is that we can take the full printmaking experience out into the community and share it with others. Uh, so this is just um, a picture um, of myself and my colleague and fellow artist, Kate O'Shea, um, heading out to our first festival uh, where we drove across the country to print in a field um, with, um, with people in the community there. Uh, so it was, it was a great first experience, definitely. Um, so the idea with Print Van Gogh is to use um, printmaking as a tool to open up conversations with people in the community um, and to um, bring creative experiences into the community, um, but to also use printmaking um, as a way to share stories um, and to share people's knowledge and skills. Um, so this is um, an example of an event that we did recently um, as part of Applefest in Clamel. Um, and Applefest is um, exactly um, what it sounds like. It's a festival that's all about apples. Um, so what we did for this festival, we ran this um, public printing event where people could print their own apple themed postcards using um, these apple themed rubber stamps and they could send it to their family and friends from the festival. Um, but what we also did um, that I think was the bit that was really successful, um, we laser cut a block um, with my grandmother's apple jelly recipe. And then throughout the day, people um, had the opportunity to print this block and then create their own apple jelly recipe booklet. Uh, and what was really interesting about this this part of the, the event um, was that while the apple jelly recipe acted as a catalyst um, for a conversation, it was the act of hand printing the plate that allowed a time and a space for um, conversations to open up and for us to really engage with participants. And we found that through this process, people um, they really engaged with us and they shared with us um, things that started with you know apple jelly recipes and moved on to family recipes. Um, and then to their family connections and local connections. We, um, people shared, they shared a lot of really kind of even personal stories with us just in exchange for this, this simple recipe booklet. Uh, so that really is kind of what's at the core of Print Van Gogh. Uh, so where it all started um, was back in Bristol um, with um, a pop-up printmaking um, station that myself and a few other um, uh, printmaking um, MA students uh, put together. So this was a very, very makeshift unit where we basically stuck wheels um, and an umbrella onto an old set of drawers. And we brought it around the city um, to different spaces. And we um, 
allow people um, to print with us um, using different rubber stamps um, and different printmaking tools. Uh, I think the great thing about this unit or what we found really enjoyable about it was that it allowed um, people to engage with us in this kind of no expectation space. Um, so it was a really kind of relaxed and formal setting. Um, from this um, pop-up station, then we um, moved up in the world a bit. We um, got a bigger set of wheels um, in this collaborative project that we um, ran with St. Mungo's uh, Recover College. And we worked with participants there uh, to create these giant line of cuff prints based on their experiences of the city. And then we printed them um, during this public event um, where we used the road roller instead of a printing press. Uh, so I think what really came to light with this project anyway was um, the incredible community um, and the incredible bonds that can form um, around the, the shared creative experiences um, and how the, you know, the act of printmaking can really bring people together. Um, and it was though it's that, that kind of printmaking environment and that group mentality um, that I am really interested in, and I'm, it's the part of printmaking that I'm really, really interested in. Uh, so after that, I moved back to Ireland, and um, for a while, I kind of felt that sense of loss that I left behind this community, um, and where I had moved to, I didn't have access to a printmaking studio. Um, so eventually, I decided to set up my own studio, um, but I wanted to be able to take out into the community. So I, um, after a very long drawn out process, I took the right fan, um, put little changes to it. Um, I uh, sourced some equipment with the help of nearly every print technician I know. Um, I got some screens, squeegees, um, a printing press. Uh, and before long, we were up and running. Uh, so it had been about a year and a half now. Um, the, the initial kit out was supposed to be temporary, but things kind of took off and we have been nonstop working on different projects um, since then. Uh, but it has been just an incredible journey. We have worked with so many different communities. We, uh, we set up in car parks, we set up in fields, um, we set up in people's backyards, uh, in housing estates. Uh, we will work with anybody that wants to work with us, you know, some children. Um, older people. Um, we did a lovely project a little while ago um, with a men's shed group in Limerick where we did a kind of skill exchange. So they um, showed us their carpentry skills and then we showed them some printmaking um, skills. Um, and then we um, used each other's processes um, to create this wonderful um, kind of print case, um, mobile, it's like a little mobile printing DIY kit. Uh, so that really is kind of the essence of what um, Print Van Gogh is all about. You know, it's not just about us going in and, you know, teaching people art workshops. It is about those experiences and it's about sharing skills and it's us saying this is what we can offer, uh, but um, we want to do that um, in exchange for things that you can offer us. Uh, we've done a lot of work in healthcare settings, um, which has been really, really amazing. We do workshops for staff um, and visitors. Uh, so as well as working in the van, we're able to take things out of the van and adapt it to other spaces. Um, so these are a couple of workshops that we've done in a couple of different hospitals, um, where we set up in um, the kind of public um, reception areas. Um, and then we also use, so this is the, the print case. Um, so it's basically, it's a, an old mimeograph um, box um, that we've adapted that there's a screen on it. You can keep all your inks, your rollers in it, paper and bits of foam. And the idea with it is that you can use it anywhere. So we um, try to be as flexible as we can as possible um, so that we can work in, in whatever environment the community needs us to work in. Um, so with this, we've worked in hospital waiting rooms, and the idea with this, this box of this case is that you can open it up on your lap and you can print anywhere. Um, so we sat in the hospital waiting room and while people waited for their appointments, they were to come and sit next to us and they could make a print and have a chat. Um, so we had, yeah, this was a lovely experience and we got a lovely, uh, got some really nice feedback from staff and from the patients. Um, and it was just something a bit different. 
So we've also been able to bring the print studio to people's bedsides and work with them um, during their hospital stay, uh, which has been a really, really lovely experience. Um, so you can see here we had a little pasta press um, printing press um, that a woman was actually able to work on her bedside table with it um, and create work throughout the day. Um, so the, those projects, um, they opened up um, this project that we did recently with Galway University Hospitals. Uh, where I think the, the whole idea of mobile printmaking really came into its own. So uh, it was an intergenerational project where we used um, printmaking um, and the idea of the postcard as a way to connect people in different units um, and connect patients and staff and visitors. Um, so we ran a series of printmaking workshops um, in pediatric units um, and created um, postcards uh, with the children there, which we then used the internal post to send it to um, people all around the hospital. And then we followed the postcard where they went and made um, new postcards with those people that were sent to other people. So it set up this little chain of um, communication between people all over the hospital. Um, so um, we've also done a lot of work in nursing homes, um, which I have found just incredibly rewarding. Um, there's a thing that I have found with printmaking um, is that there's this lovely meditative quality, I think, to the repetitive printing processes um, that you can just get completely lost in. And uh, for me, anyway, it has done wonders for my health and well-being. It's just getting lost in these these repetitive processes. Uh, and I found um, when working with, um, especially when working with with older people in day centres and nursing homes is that it's this, this lovely repetitive quality that people seem to enjoy um, and it doesn't matter so much about what you're making it's just the process of making it uh, so there was one woman um, that I was working with in a nursing home and she didn't talk very much and um, she didn't engage very much with the other residents but when I introduced her to this printmaking press uh, she just could use it for hours and what, what happened then was um, the other people in the room, they, when they would make something to be printed, they would hand it over to her and she would put it through the press and give it back to them. And just through that little act, it connected her with other people in the room that she wouldn't have had connections with otherwise. Um, so, you know, so even something as small as that, I think can be quite powerful um, and, you know, and can have, um, it can have an effect on somebody that, that you wouldn't realize or you wouldn't notice normally. Uh, so the idea um, with this, so you know, it, it is about the printing process and using printmaking as this, this tool to engage. Um, and then what we print is completely tailored to the group that we work with or the community that we work with. Um, so it is all about trying to find out their story um, and how we can translate that into print. Um, so with the, the work in the nursing homes, a lot of people, a lot of their stories were kind of um, about their, their skills and just their way of life growing up. Um, learned all about rearing day-old chicks or trashing corn. Um, and what we did then was we turned elements of these stories into rubber stamps that could then be used by other participants in the nursing home to create new stories. Um, also, um, we made a series of maps around their kind of local place. Uh, and the great thing about print, being able to reproduce things, was that these maps could then be shared with the wider community. And then that led to them sharing stories back and sharing their experiences with those places back. So it led to these kind of much bigger conversations with people and these much wider connections um, that you wouldn't kind of think would ha happen. Uh, so where we're at with Print Van Gogh now, um, Obviously, with, with COVID um, and distancing, the van doesn't quite lend itself to two meter distances. Uh, so we are looking at new ways of engaging with, with communities. Um, and I think it's never been more important for us to continue to connect with the people around us um, and to connect with our neighbors and to connect um, with these healthcare settings. Um, so, but again, the great thing about print is that it really does lend itself to uh, distance engagement, you know, through printing material. So we're really kind of looking at the idea of the post 
um, and sending people things or request to send things back. Um, I'm also working on a project with um, Lily Green from No Bindings. Um, it's a create artists and community project where we're looking at how we combine these printed materials with audio your recordings as kind of another another way to create a virtual space to engage with. Um, but you know it's 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 new new times that, and um, and I think it'll be exciting to see what comes out of this. It'll be challenging but you know um, I think it, it you know good good things will, will come out of it. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch.